Constituents of Denry North, fellow St. Lucians at home and abroad, the holiday season is here again, and I am both honored and privileged to address you as the Minister for Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, and of course, as the Parliamentary Representative for Denry North. This is a time for reflection. This is also the time of year when we plan and prepare to forge ahead with determination and the purpose in the new year. Despite a few setbacks, it was a rewarding year for the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training. With the support and cooperation of several key stakeholders, we successfully executed several of our programs. We reinstated the One Laptop Per Child program, and to date, every child in the secondary school system now owns a Chromebook, complements the Government of St. Lucia. The One University Graduate Per Household Initiative is yielding tremendous results with hundreds of young St. Lucians benefiting from government support in their quest for higher education. In the last two years, approximately 600 young St. Lucians have benefited from direct government support in their higher educational pursuits. Our government has committed millions of dollars for the reconstruction and rehabilitation of schools across the length and breadth of the country. During the past year, our students registered remarkable performances in local and regional examinations. The performance of the Viewfort Comprehensive Secondary School in the Regional CAPE exam was truly outstanding with students of that school copying very prestigious awards. The Department of Sustainable Development continues to spearhead efforts at addressing climate change and other environmental management issues. On the global front, Ours continues to be a voice of advocacy for small island developing states. Both Prime Minister Pierre and I recently participated in the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change Conference of Parties 28, otherwise known as COP28, in the UAE, where we made representation on behalf of St. Lucia and the wider region. Like the rest of the developing world, we welcome the decision to operationalize the Loss and Damage Fund which will serve as a source of funding to help address our climate adaptation issues. My love and appreciation for the people of the Mabuya Valley continues to grow with every passing day. I remain eternally grateful for the opportunity that my constituents of Denry North have given to me to be their voice in government and the parliament of our country. The drawings for the repurposed Larish's Health Center have been completed. Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre has allocated more than half a million dollars for the reinstatement of the Larissus Health Center. The contractor for the reinstatement of the Larissus Health Center has been chosen and the construction is set to begin in January 2024. I remain steadfast in my belief that development of a community entails much more than concrete and steel projects. Our focus on human resource development and training continues to be a priority in the constituency of Denry North. Our young people continue to benefit from the government's scholarship programs. Presently, young people from the Valley are enrolled in higher education programs at universities in Hungary, Morocco, Taiwan, Cuba, Barbados, Trinidad, Monroe College, and elsewhere. In 2024, several other young people from the Valley will enroll in university programs at home and abroad. I am particularly happy for the three additional students who will travel overseas to study to become medical doctors. The Stilpan program funded by UNESCO and the Ministry of Education has been launched, and it is anticipated that in the new year, roughly 100 young people from the Valley will learn how to play the Stilpan. There is a comprehensive road rehabilitation program in store for Denry North in 2024. To complement the smaller ones we were able to address under the Taiwanese-funded Constituency Development Program, otherwise known as the CDP. In Upper Montego Bay, Olio, the roads from Walker to Dorcas and Manton to Mapin have been repaired. The long-awaited Austin Hill Road is currently being resurfaced from Lower Denya Riviera near Metro all the way up to Madigua 
And upon completion of that main road, the people in Tumeris, Austin Hill, will finally get relief. The Apatat Road in Lapel and the Cemetery Road in Larissos have both been resurfaced. We await the intervention of central government to address the Ridge for Ring Road, the Mambro Stretch, as we call it in Larissos, the Caddy Belmont Road, the Belmont Inner Relief Road, the Toifre Road, the Mondesi Road, the Blafflora Road, and several other roads in the constituency. A program of support for farmers and small businesses will be unveiled in the new year. We have had a lot to be thankful for in 2023. And so let us savor the holiday season, a time when we can truly commit to the renewal of friendships, strengthening of family ties, and create an atmosphere where love, charity, and kindness can truly thrive. It is the time of year when we are expected to do more to help those around us who cannot help themselves. As we celebrate and enjoy the festive season, let us pay a thought for the many families that lost loved ones in 2023. As I look back at the year ended, I must thank the many individuals, groups, and agencies that worked with me throughout 2023. I thank Almighty God for health, strength, and courage to discharge my duties to constituency and the country. My mother and family for their unwavering love and support provided throughout 2023. I want to thank Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre for his continued confidence in my ability to serve in his cabinet and for the opportunity to lead on regional and international initiatives. I must thank my constituency support teams and staff of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Trading, to include the statutory agencies in my ministerial remit, namely, the Board of Governors, staff, faculty, and students of the Safa Lewis Community College, the management and staff of the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority, the management and staff of the National Skills Development Center, the management and staff of the Peter Management Area, the National Accreditation Council, and the St. Lucia TVET Council. I also want to thank the Executive Director and staff of the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, the CIDIMA. From my family to yours, Merry Christmas and God's richest blessings for 2024. Move up with l'occasion pour remercier tout le monde qui travaille pour moi en l'année 2023. 2023, c'était l'année que nous fait plusieurs succès en ministre éducation et puis ministre sustainable development. Nous avons créé ministre et bien département développement durable. Move up with tout le monde qui travaille avec moi en ce département gouvernement sala. Move up with nous avons un chai succès en éducation. Le gouvernement pour le moment a fait une assistance et puis support pour les jeunes gens qui veulent aller à l'école université. Nous avons aidé à plus de 600 jeunes gens réaliser ça nous a créé un dream pour aller aller derrière ces bagages là qu'ils faire en université pour ça bail qu'ils travaillent et puis pour faire carré en tant que venir. Nous avons aidé toute maman l'école secondaire en laptop neuf et comme vous le dit aussi en constituant moi. Nous avons un chai succès que nous avons mangé chez moi et nous avons bâillé une opportunité pour élever le coyo. Plus que bâillé pour nous à l'année neuf là, c'est Health Center, la ressource qui était à payer de tuer pas de fait comme l'année qui passait. Premier ministre là, j'ai mis l'argent là, nous avons rien à contracter et puis tu as vaillé qu'il commence en Health Center la ressource en l'année neuf 2024. Chez moi Austin Hill. Chimen Semitie, Chimen Apatat Lapel, et puis yon de l'autre Chimen en Oulion, et puis l'autre côté, Jatapé Bati. On le prend l'occasion pour souhaiter tout peuple saint lucie en particulier Jean Denrenov, Jean Mabouya Valley, un joyeux Noël, et puis tout ça qui est bon en l'année 9, l'année 2024. Thank you everybody. Best wishes for the holiday season. <laughs>